Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. There is a group of us who are trying to initiate a writing campaign to our U.S. representatives. Watch this clip for more information on why we feel this campaign is necessary and how to find your representative's email address. And we'll, we'll go into more details about it after you jump off, but I do think uh, your expertise will help us out on this. We were talking about Jeremiah Payne and the situation with his child and the frustration we have because CPS hands are tied due to the, the, the limitations they have. Uh, and it seems like Jeremiah figured a system out where if he keeps on just going to one jurisdiction from another, his little girl would not be taken from him. And we all agree that this is probably a, uh, it, it's going to be better for her to get with with a your foster care or family or so, someone that would properly raise raise her in a stable lifestyle. So in our discussion, we said, what can be done? And the thing that came to our mind is NCIC, but for the CPS side of the house. Something, so, something on the line similar to that that and because in law enforcement if you ran someone's id you would know if they have a felony sitting in another state somewhere or if they are wanted somewhere else correct jj that's right so it seems like we might not have the same thing when it comes down to children in a cons that are that are uh, in a in that type of situation where the parents know how to avoid CPS by just simply moving, but when when if there's a database somewhere where that's fairly maintained, funded like like the NCISC is, mm -hmm. uh, that oh okay we got this uh, this father's name is Jeremiah Payne. Wait, whoa, oh, we don't need to be asking them any questions. We just need to get her. We need to go ahead and take that little girl because this, like, uh, this is ongoing in several counties. We need to get this taken care of and instead of uh, just make the first contact and make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it'll be a database where all of DC, like all the jurisdictions for DCFS would be connected. So even if they do go state to state to avoid them, any information about them, about the daughter, any judge's orders, anything that was related to it would be in there. So any jurisdiction could look it up and see what's right. going on with them. And if the daughter needs to be removed to go to like a, you know, a placement or something, they can do it immediately that, without trying to interview them. So they run away again. So we suggested and thought about it and said that, okay, maybe what we need to do is start a, a letter writing campaign to our representatives identifying that we think this is an issue that maybe that our federal government might need assist in creating a database that can assist CPSs across the country to uh, find troubled children from, from what we can, well, let's just say it, deadbeat parents, mm -hmm. parents who are not properly taking mm -hmm. care of their children. Like so we can get Jeremiah. these, get these, yeah, like Jeremiah. So we can get these kids into a hopefully a more stable situation where they can grow up and avoid time with you, JJ. I couldn't agree more. And of course, yeah. I can speak for Kentucky. I can't speak for all the other states, but I can speak for a lot of them that they don't they don't have anything out you know like this out there then that's being utilized. Right. Uh, and actually, the software. Uh, it's not like trying to create this is like trying to recreate a wheel. I mean, the software is already out there. Let's take NCIC. Let's take right. Kentucky One Health, <clears throat> you know, all the medical records. I mean, it's, you know, you go to one hospital now in Kentucky. The technology is there. It's yeah, there. the technology is there. So right well, now, no. Listen, I moved from Illinois to Oregon. My records were here from Illinois. I mean, it's not just in your state or it's mm -hmm. state to state or your records for your medical will follow you. So like he said, it's not reinventing the wheel. You could take one software and implement it for mm -hmm. another purpose. It's like repurposing something you found in your home that you're not using anymore. 
And but, the real trick is, is you know, get it where it works in a in that situation. So that's going to take people that's way smarter than we are to do that, and get it working where it's not infringing on rights and make sure policies in it and procedures right. are written in that way. But uh, JJ, you were getting ready to say something. I know you're in a hurry, so we're going. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. You're fine. Uh, which I know sometimes how the delay is, you know, from one person to the next talk. And so I did that. Uh, yeah. But uh, some of the big problems that I see with it, and of course, you know, you should work through them is obviously like NCIC. For me to have access to NCIC, you know, you have to go through a lot of classes. You know, you got to be actually signed off, you know, by the FBI. You know, there, there's a whole lot of protocols to go through. And obviously now if you're jumping from adults to juveniles, well, now you're really handling some delicate information that could, you know, affect a lot of people, possibly even, you know, everything from affecting them later on down the road in life to actually putting them in harm's way. So you you have the whole training aspect, the whole background. I mean, I can see several, several, several millions and millions of dollars it takes to implement this, <clears throat> getting the training, uh, the people who are actually going to oversee this, you know, is it going to be the state police in your state? Is it going to be the FBI? Uh, you know, what kind of, is this going to be a federally funded program? Is it going to be state to state? I mean, I, I see the logistics of it, you know, of it would, it isn't something you could, you could pass them legislative this year and it'd be implemented this time next year. I mean, it's going to be a work in progress. Uh, you know, I mean, just enter and pass information in, you know, each CPS office, which is understaffed now, it's going to take them to hire more people just to input the input this information into the right. system. That system is going to have to be somehow linked to the NCIC system. So every time or something similar to it, Jeremiah like Payne gets pulled over, they can pull up his name and say, "Well, he was involved <coughs> with two children." For this and they're looking for him out of springfield kentucky so they you know they got interface c systems together so i mean i i hope it does get done uh, i think it would be great uh, there, there's a lot of hurdles definitely a lot of hurdles and i think yes. really the first thing is we got to get on the radar of the right people yes and uh, and that's going to be our representatives so yes. if, if everyone looks on their screen right now you can see i have a, this website uh how to find your state, uh, how you find your U.S. representative, house.gov slash representatives, find your representative. And we're using a zip code for Leavenworth, Washington. So let's say that's where I live and I, I want to know how to contact my representative. So I type in my zip code and I click this button. And here we are. We got Kim Schreier. Uh, and this button right here is where you find her email address. And that's where you would start in touch with your representatives. I strongly uh, encourage contacting your representative, not contacting, contacting every representative you can think of. Yes. And I think as this, if enough people would get behind this and actually help start pushing this through, raising, getting eyes on this, then I think it would reach a point to where then you would start some kind of, I'm going to call it fundraising, obviously, to, uh, you know, be able to actually pay somebody to actually represent you, you know, and more or less like have a lobbyist actually for this foundation, you know, to actually get this stuff pushed through. Uh, you know, like you said, you know, it's a process, but like any and like anything else, you have to start somewhere. And yes, and actually starting at a at a local level and to a state level, that is where you start. You know, if you want to make a change, that's that's how you start. Yes.